welcome back to this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to do calculation in data filter mode in microsoft excel here in this example i have the detail of the sales for a company where there is the date month item name quantity sales officer selling price per unit and sales revenue here the total quantity sold the average of the selling price and the total sales revenue is calculated by using the sum and average function but when i use the data filter here this sum and average function becomes useless let me apply here data filter by selecting the column header click on the data tab click on filter now if i select a particular item from here for example this one now this total does not change when i am in the data filtering mode the value should change here this should display the total of the selected item only which should be this value 5516 but here it is displaying the total so in this case the normal function does not give us the desired result so here in this case in case of data filter mode we have to apply a different function so let me delete these normal functions from here and in case of the data filtering we have to use the subtotal function so here in this cell press is equal to type the subtotal function open the bracket now here you have the list of the functions like the average count count a max mean product there are many other functions to use in the data filter mode and here we have to calculate the total so choose this function number 9 that is for the sum so double click on this then give a comma now here in the reference one you can take the range so select the quantity sold from the beginning till the end here you can press ctrl shift down to go at the end of the data this way then close the bracket press enter and here you see now the subtotal has calculated the sum and it will now change when you filter the data suppose that if you take here a particular item then here you see the total is changed this total is for the filtered data only or for the visible data only now you can copy the same formula for this sales revenue total and here in case of average we have to change the function number so here let me paste the same function then double click on this then change this function number to 1 because for the average the function number is 1 so double click on this average then press enter now this is the average of the selling price per unit for the filtered data let me clear the filter from here then use the filter here in sales officer column let me take this one now here you see the total and average changes according to the filtered data so this is the way of doing calculation in data filter mode in microsoft excel and this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial